U.S. leaders are warning more military strikes are coming in the Middle East, part of a retaliatory campaign against Iranian-backed militia groups after a drone attack killed three American soldiers. Washington, D.C. correspondent Hannah Brandt breaks down what we know about the plans and how lawmakers on Capitol Hill are reacting. U.S. forces ramped up attacks in the Middle East over the weekend with a series of strikes aimed at disabling Iranian-backed militia groups. The focus here is on disrupting and degrading their capabilities to conduct these kinds of attacks. U.S. Central Command says strikes on Saturday and Sunday were self-defense to take out Houthi missiles threatening U.S. ships. Before that, U.S. forces launched an air assault in Iraq and Syria, targeting other Iran-backed groups in direct retaliation for the drone attack that killed three American soldiers in Jordan. And National Security advisor Jake Sullivan told NBC there's more to come. That is not the end of it. We intend to take additional strikes uh, and additional action. Leaders say the U.S. response is meant to be forceful, but also avoid war with Iran, though some Republicans are slamming the Biden administration's approach. We should not be appeasing Iran. That's what the Biden administration has been doing for the last three years. We are projecting weakness on the world stage. Speaker Mike Johnson argued the president needs to be tougher with Iran. And Senator Lindsey Graham told Fox News he wants the next U.S. strikes to hit Iran more directly. I hope they really will hurt Iran in their pocketbook, or kill their leadership, because if you don't, nothing changes. But Sullivan pushed back against the criticism. Of course, there will always be armchair quarterbacks, but we are confident in the steps that we have taken so far, and we are confident in the course that we are on going forward. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in the Middle East now and scheduled to meet with allies to try and cool tensions in the region. In Washington, I'm Hannah Brandt.